Hey guys, it's Janice. Welcome back to my channel. So this is a bit of a different angle uh, because I'm making a bit of a different video. Today is Tuesday, so it is my pull list for December 9th. This week I only have one comic book coming out. That's Giant Days number 9. Um, in this issue, Ed has joined the paper. Well, he did that in the last issue. <laughs> in hopes to meet girls and hopefully get over Esther, who is one of our main characters who he has a crush on. She does not reciprocate the feelings um, and is just not interested in any kind of like long-term commitment. She's just in her young college experimental phase. Um, so he is trying to move on and apparently he gets some crazy relationship drama or something. So I'm really excited. I like Ed. I think he's a really cool character. Um, he is a nice guy and though he could easily be written into like some kind of friend zoned angry boy that doesn't happen he understands that esther does not feel the same for him um and does not have feelings for him and uh he's just a cool character he's really friendly with all three of the girls um and and so i'm excited to see what's happening with him so the reason why i am in a slightly different angle is because i wanted to show you um my comic books these two boxes have always been right here, um, but we are reorganizing our shelving system. So I don't know if you can see Carl's like record players right there or whatever. Um, but so I wanted to tell you a little bit of how I sort and organize my comic books. So if you look right here, I think you can see this. Yes. Okay. So if you look right here, I have two little orange bins. Uh, this one's empty. So these are my unread comic books. This is where I put all my comic books. Um, and it's pretty full that I have yet to read and plan to read. And, um, and then I just know, you know, what, you know, where everything is. And I organize them every time I get a comic book. So I know, you know, the ones I plan on reading the soonest are towards the front. They're grouped together with similar. So this is all like Deadly Class right here. There's some um, phonogram right there. Um, Supreme Blue Rose and stuff like that. So uh, they're in order of when I think I'll want to read them next. Um, so, and then once I've read a comic, I close it, seal it in the back, and then put it right here. Uh, and this, so this is my red comic list, uh, comic bin. So after I've read comics for the month, and um, I usually do it at the end of the month, unless there's only like three or four comics that I've read, which sometimes has happened to me, then I won't do it at the end of the month, but um, now that I'm making videos, I probably will. But once I get a good number of comic books in here, then I sort them into an organization app. I used to use an app called Sortly, which was really cool, but it was only on my iPad. It, you can't have it on a computer. And um, I would store like information about the comic, whether it's a first printing or a second printing, because I don't have only first printings. Uh, if it's a variant copy, I have a picture of the cover. Um, and this is all information that's really useful for me in order to, you know, find my comics and just keep track of what I have. But also if there is a comic book that I want to buy, um, but I can't remember if I have that specific cover or something like that, then I can look through my app and see, yes, I do have this one or no, I don't. And, um, you know, prevent myself from buying things that I don't need. Not that I need variant copies of <laughs> different comic books and stuff like that but it's just really helpful so i used to use sortly but like i said it was only on my ipad so it took up a lot of space with all the pictures of the covers and things like that um plus it was just it wasn't useful because i had to take a picture of each individual cover and things like that and it was just a pain so i actually switched over recently to wonderlist and i'll have a video right here of my wonder list so on the left side of the wonder list there is a list of all the comics that i have and then if you were to click on one of the folders it'll show you each individual issue of that comic book so it says like you know pretty deadly deadly class you know they're all in order i've organized them in order you can you can organize them however you want um and then after you choose after you click on the comic book, then it'll show you each individual issue. So I think in the video that I filmed, because I did it before this, I clicked on Pretty Deadly. And then after you click on Pretty Deadly, it shows you each different, like, it has, like, the top three. Like, the top three of them are the first issue. So I have, like, the regular printing, uh, the ghost variant, and then I think a third eye comic variant printing and things like that. Um, and then what's really cool about this, what I like the most about this, is I just get the picture from, like... Midtown Comics or something like that and I just get a cover a picture of the cover from there 
and then I upload it to Wonderlist. Wonderlist save these saves these pictures online. So I can see them on my desktop or on my laptop or on my iPad. Um, it'll just open it in a browser so I can see the, lit, the cover or whatever. It doesn't take up unnecessary space on my computer. If for some reason I needed to clear space on my laptop, I could delete the images and it wouldn't affect my wonder list. It, they would still stay, stay synced on all my devices with, this, with those images. So it's really awesome. Um, I also like to put information like, I don't do this, but some people like to put like how they feel about a comic book. Um, I originally found out about this specific app, app from Danny Danger of Weird Girls, and she puts like, you know, the thoughts she had while she read the comic book and stuff like that. I don't enter my information in there as soon as I, as I finish a comic book, so I can't really put that because like, I've kind of like lost that information by the time I put it in there. But I like to put like, um, one of my copies of Pretty Deadly is autographed. So I'll put like, first printing written by Kelly Sue DeConnick, art by um, Emma Rios, coloring by Jordi Belair, uh, signed or whatever. And that's so that's the information that I would put on there for each individual comic. So these are my three comic boxes. I only have three right now, but um, it's constantly growing. I only had one and before that I had none. So I'm going to do a comic box tour video where I show you just like the cool different covers I have and stuff like that. But let me just show you, for instance, since I was saying about Pretty Deadly because I have them right here. Pretty Deadly is one of my very favorite comic books. It's one of the comic books that inspired me to actually start picking up individual issues. I love Kelly Sue DeConnick. I think she's an amazingly talented writer. Um, Emma Rios is a great artist. Jordi Belair's coloring is insane. It's just the best comic book. Like it's so beautiful and it's such an amazing story. So, um, so here's my box and there's a lot of stuff in here. It's pretty heavy. Um, in the back, there's a lot of the Wicked and the Divine and stuff like that. I think this back section is all Wicked and Divine and then there's a bunch of other stuff. But up front right here are my Pretty Deadly comics. So I'll just go through those really quickly. So this is the very first issue. I know it looks upside down, but it's not. Uh, that is the reflection. So I mean, you can tell just right by the cover of these how like beautiful these comic books are. Um, this is my Ghost variant cover and it is signed by Kelly C. DeConnick. I was not lucky enough to meet Kelly C. DeConnick. I just purchased this off of eBay um, and not even for the signature, just for the cover, but getting the signature was a bonus. Um, I have this cover, which is um, Third Eye comic cover. I cannot remember who does this drawing, who did the cover on this one. I'll have to look it up, um, but it's so cute, so adorable. And then just the rest of them, like they're so beautiful. Like, I can't handle it. If you haven't read Pretty Deadly, it is about a woman who is the daughter of death and it's it follows a bunch of characters, but it's kind of like this westerny type, beautiful, poetic story told by like a bunny skeleton and a butterfly. Weird. So there's another cover. You can't really see these, I'm sure, because of the glare. Um, and then there's, uh, this is actually the most recent one. So this is the last one from the last arc. And then this one just came out a couple weeks ago. And this is the new storyline. Um, so these comics are amazing. They're great. I love Pretty Deadly so much. But so this is how I organize my comics. Let me know if you use any of these like organization type apps or whatever to store, sort your comic books. Um, I don't at this point really need to organize my comics like this because I don't have that many but it is good to start because Carl has like at least 20 boxes of comics in our closet and um it's really hard to find anything because he has a lot of comics I really want to read Why the Last Man Again by Brian K. Bond and I read it in digital copy but I don't have the digital edition anymore and um he has all the individual issues but I don't know what box they're in <laughs> so it just makes it a real pain in the butt um to to have these boxes and boxes of comics like you can write on the front of them what is in each box but like i i put these little pieces of like this is a comic bag and that was a comic board and i was planning on like writing on here what was in in here but even though i was already using the other app but, but um it just didn't seem worth it because i was constantly shifting stuff around uh like in this one i have a bunch of revival which is a really long comic book and um and like whenever i'm adding 
more revival to there. I'll have to like pull out a different comic and move it over here. Like Pretty Deadly was originally in this box. This was the first box I had, uh, but I had to move it to the second box. So it's like, it's constantly shuffling what's in there uh, for now. Eventually they'll be like, this box has only this comic book, but while, while the comics I'm reading are still growing, the boxes are constantly shifting. So it just didn't make any sense to write what was on the front um, of these. So this is how I sort my comic books. So let me know what comic books you're picking up this week. If you use any apps to sort your comic books um, and things like that. If you have any of the really cool Pretty Deadly comic uh, variant covers, I love Pretty Deadly. I also have a t-shirt somewhere. I wish I had it on me right now so I could show you. I mean, I mean not on my body because it doesn't fit, but whatever. <laughs> like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more. Follow me on Tumblr, Twitter, and Instagram. Um, I'm doing the book Nerdathon, so that's going to be my next video that is coming out probably. Um, but who knows, actually, I might make other videos before that. But it's just going to be like a wrap up of what I am reading right now. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.